Welcome back, everybody. We are playing some Diablo. Um, oh so friend. yeah, it's kind of a while. drunken Listen. doom barb. Rare item. Let's see what we got here. Resist, resist. Five to dexterity. That's really good. Two to seven. Yeah, we're going to switch this out. But yeah, we're here chilling, you know. I'm a little, uh, little tipsy. I can't tell the quality of my stream at the moment, but... Oh, no! What happened? Shit. I hit the wrong button. Ah! This is lame. This is what happens when I don't have mods playing. Here we go. Woo! All right, we're back. So yeah, if you're um. Oh wait. Oh, I can't full screen it. Anyways, so if you're new to the game, we are playing a modded version of Diablo One called Bullzabib or Bulbzabib or Billzabib. You know, whatever it's uh, whatever it's called. Cannot read spell books yet. So oof. Till next time. But yeah, having a lot of fun playing the game. Uh, tonight's just, oh, honestly, I, I didn't expect you? to, um, per se, like, stream. But, you know, we're, we're doing it. We're gonna stream anyways. Because why not? So yeah, I am playing an assassin, which didn't normally exist in the Diablo game. And it was a broken kind of class it's all dexterity I sense a soul in search of so it's a little harder to play but we'll uh we'll get through this I think also I'm running my st. Jude's for the month of May donation if for every ten dollars donated I will eat a spicy jelly bean also it's kind of weird it's like the first time I don't have like my mods involved in the game like Corey and um, Tim Whoa, but I didn't really you? give a um, a heads up about like streaming tonight either so can't really blame them for it anyways we are going to go back to the second level I don't really need mana potions a few health potions would be nice but yeah so Twitter has been busy lately I gotta check it out Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, I haven't been like involved in like a ton of drama lately. I uh, made the video about Tipster, which actually blew up surprisingly. I uh, I don't I didn't actually expect it at all. And like I said, no uh, no hate to Tipster at all. I just uh, I think sometimes he's a little sensitive on the internet. So, but that's all. I I. I like him as a creator. I don't think there's anything wrong. Most of the commentary community I just generally enjoy. I mean, unless like you're a pedophile or you fuck up somehow, but like really bad, like John Swan. But yeah, I don't know. There's uh, I don't find there's like anyone I necessarily dislike online. Nah, I don't have money for you, wart. Did I use the town portal? No, I didn't, because I don't know how I got all this money. I was, like, dirt poor last time I played. Anywho, let's hope the, uh, <laughs> the dungeon... The Fuck, it definitely did respawn. Uh, you know what? We'll grind this level today. I feel like we'll need to. We can maybe get some more money and loot. Plus, I don't mind doing it, you know? I still, like, hardly can kill things. But yeah, we'll grind level 1 and, uh, let's see how it goes. Get some health potions, some scrolls. Blah! Blah! Oh, look, level 2 is, like, right there, right away. Sweet! Should we grind level 1? I w if there's anyone in chat, what do you think? Should we just grind and level? I take that as a no. There is no one in my chat at the moment. 
that's okay. It's it's late. I didn't give a lot of notice. So, here we are. Just it's weird because I actually like came down to want to play like video games on my own because everyone's asleep in my house, and my only other option to do was play Morrowind. But I like as much as I love Morrowind. Do you ever just get in those moods where you're like, I don't really want to read or do much. I just want to mindlessly play video games, which is weird because. I could have just came down and played Diablo, but instead I felt like I needed to stream since I was playing it. I don't know if like any other streamers have this issue per se, but it's definitely something I've uh, I've had and noticed that like if I'm gaming on the computer, I feel like obligated to stream. Weird. It's definitely like a weird kind of feeling. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Get out of here. Scroll of identification. Yes, please, baby. Oh, it's alt. Alt is the key. Here we go. But yeah, we had a uh, family barbecue tonight. Well, not family, but like, you know, friends and co-workers, that sort of thing. So it was pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, I got really tipsy off sangria and Eden alcohol-drenched fruit. Hunter's bow. I must be, like, inventory must be full pretty much. I don't know. I thought I had a full inventory, but... Guess not. Here we go. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I was thinking I'd probably stream for, like, an hour or something. Something fun, and then, I don't know, I'll probably watch Clone Wars. I have to stay up all night, which sucks. I had a terrible headache today. Here we go. Oh no, I had people trying to join the uh, stream today, but Twitch sucks, apparently, in one of my group chats. Let's see. Ah! Zombos! Uh, let's see. What my buddy said. I tried to join stream, but Twitch sucks and won't let me verify my account with my phone. Oh, my buddy, uh... Oh, gosh. Common Cop is, uh, savage with Twitter. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone's, like, hate on Tipster. He had, like, a mental health crisis, and that was kind of a... He, like, deleted his Twitter for a bit. No unblocked a bunch of people. In my opinion, it's like nothing like that intense, but you know, people make drama to be what it is, and some people just, I don't know, make more of what it is than what it should be, but it happens, you know? Nothing you can do about it. It's part of like being in like a creator online and sh stuff like that. Die, die, die. There's lots of stuff in here. There's a cape and a short bow to heal. I, this? I think I'm going to put this in my pooper. Boom. Yes. Ah. Oh. No, leave me alone. I'm busy. I don't need that. Yes. All oh, the resurrection. That is... Uh, Did I? Oh, fuck me. Wow. No. Well, I wasted two, two items. <laughs> Immediately. One to four. Chance hit plus seven. That's so shitty. 
Why is it yellow? I don't understand why that was like considered a rare item. I get like chance to hit, but I don't know. I guess I'm just not cool. I don't understand why the kids are hip about these things. What I would be really happy about is by getting a scroll of town portal because that would be exciting. But oh man, I always forget how um like blurry my webcam is sometimes. I'm like I don't think there's anything I can do about the blur. I mean, if I bring it over here, it's I don't know. Still blurry, but if I take like the light away, then it becomes too dark. Ah, <sighs> the struggles of being a micro influencer, I suppose. Give me a town portal. No town portal. Ah! I really should buy a book of town portals. I come across this issue so often, and specifically in Diablo 1. Oh, wait, I think I have a waypoint, actually. Already in my game. I didn't think of that. Um, yeah, I definitely think I have waypoints. I didn't, uh, last game I found a waypoint level two, so. It's okay. We got stuff to do and money to spend, you know? Oh man, tipster responded. I cleared my whole block list when I came back last week. I know in the commentary community everyone finds ulterior motives and everything, but people do. Won't be the first time I block a bunch of people coming at me only to unblock them when the death settles. Have done this numerous times. Oof. Hey, more dude. Corey showed up. <laughs> I didn't even give any uh, advice on this one. Ah, uh, Corey, if you're b like up and like not busy, f feel free to join Discord and just chat. I am like tipsy, and I don't know. Everyone else is all in bed at my house, so yeah, I'm just kind of uh, grinding at this point. This um map because I needed money. Why is that worth so much? It's so bad. I don't get it. Corruption of Fletch? Ha! That's a clever name on words, but... I don't know. It's so... I don't know. Goodbye! The more I think on it, the less likely I am to do it, so... Oh, I can finally repair my equipment. Maybe upgrade stuff? But yeah, I don't know. Tipster's, like, going off on Twitter about how he unblocks people all based on, like, a joke. That, um... Oh, what's his name? <laughs> Slazo made. That's it. Slazo basically made a joke about Tipster. And uh, Nicholas Iorio and Tipster decide to uh, respond to it. So, that's kind of it. And, like, I mean, the only relevance I have in that drama is the fact that I made a Tipster video that, like I said, is doing, like, better than my normal videos normally do. So, that's about my take on it. Oh, that's like six though, eh? Six to two. Only 200? Yeah, so why wouldn't I buy that? What's five? My helmet's garbage too, I'm pretty sure. Four, two, two. Oh, I guess he doesn't have any better helmets. What is this? Ah, armor, I'll find better armor on the, on the way. Yeah, I think that's about it. I still have a decent amount of money. Yay! Uh, do do do. Oh wait, I I don't even I didn't even check like if he ended up joining Discord or not. Uh, let's see. Ooh, sorry, everybody, for being a dingus. Is any is he in the Discord group? No. No, he's not. 
Oh, yes, he is. Why can't I join? There we go. Hey, why are you up so late? I can't sleep. Oh, fair enough. We've all been there. <laughs> yeah, I did, like, I never expected to stream tonight, but Kaylee fell asleep, and, um... I sense a soul yeah, I'm just up. So, I had, like, a terrible migraine today, because it was, um, the long weekend, and we had, like, friends, families over and stuff, so I couldn't get any rest, so I ended up, like, calling in sick for work today. And then now I'm just up. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I just kind of want to video game, but... Oh, where am I going? But I also got, like, stuck in this thing where I'm like... I haven't, like, not video gamed in such a long time where I wasn't streaming. So it was, like, kind of weird. 3,000? Yeah, what? Yeah, be careful. Well, like, I fell into that rut when we were playing. I can't the get there like, from here. I didn't want to play it because we would play... Probably play it on the channel. Right? I just play stuff. I was like, I, guess, I, guess, I just gotta start playing stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It just felt weird. I was like, because, like, I have a headache still and all that. But, um, I was like, oh, I don't want to, like, play Morrowind tonight. There's, like, too much reading involved and everything. I just wanted to play something, like, mindless. So I was like, oh, you know, Diablo's kind of fun for that. It's just mindless killing, and I needed to actually, like, grind. So, and here we are. Sorry you can't sleep, though. That super sucks. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah, but it was it's more so just because I was slept in the past couple days just because there was no need to wake up early. Yeah, long weekend and not on call, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Install the screen door on our bedroom, and now we have perfect air handling. Nice. How'd you survive that storm? Dude, like, nothing happened where, like... Like, nothing affected our zone for power. What? Wow, was, was the whole power grid knocked out in Ottawa or something? Like, a lot of it, yeah. Like, there were outages basically just across the city. Like, on in Ottawa and Gatineau. Wow. We just got lucky and, like, the little... Like, we were right on the edge of, like, one of the lines where it was like, this is all down, this isn't. That's a little crazy. Yeah, like, it, it was, like, where we, where we are, like, it was maybe, like, a half hour storm. Wow. And like just a normal like storm, just, like, eh? It just came, wrecked stuff, and left. No, <laughs> <laughs> just came, wrecked everything, and left. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of like texts from Ottawa people being like, "Oh, be careful! It's a terrible storm." And I'm like, "It is bright, sunny days up here. I have no idea what you're talking about." <laughs> but yeah, I saw like videos from uh, people's apartments and stuff, and how like actual terrible it was. Yeah, a lot of places. Yeah, I've seen people post on Facebook like, finally got power back, and I'm like, was it really that bad? Yeah, like, I mean, again, where I was for like half an hour, it was just like, looking at, we had just happened to get back. Yeah. And like, I was installing that stupid door, and then just like, rain. Just so like. Literally, I saw the rain just kind of starting, so I like pulled out the little, like, the window I made for our uh, AC, and like, closed yeah. the window, and then just like, downpour blowing trees wow. and stuff and I was just like hmm that's the crazy a couple times but didn't go out well I'm glad you guys did all right hopefully everyone else I know from Ottawa is okay <laughs> but yeah I uh, it was nasty I saw like it's all over the weather like network and everything people were talking about how bad it was School of Resurrects. I feel like they're so pointless in this because you're not playing multiplayer. Goodbye! Evil gremlin. But yeah, I don't know. I was just going over before you uh, joined just uh, some like drama and stuff in the commentary community. And like, I'm kind of staying out of it for the most part right now, but... Um, I made that video about Tipster, which is doing fairly well for my channel. Um, seeing even that, like, it was a short video, too. It was, like, only a three-minute video, and it's doing fairly okay. But it basically was just talking about how, like, Tipster took a mental health crisis and, like, deleted his Twitter and everything like that and stopped using social media, and then basically everyone dogpiled him <laughs> for it. 
Because, you know, jokes. Because, haha, you couldn't take the heat. But, it is what it is. It's what, like, the commentary community does. And then they'll move on to someone else. Um, I do think it's, like, if you're gonna shit talk people on the internet, though, you can't, like, claim you're a victim on their, like, everything. Which is my only criticism of Tipster, is that he does claim that he's a victim when he's also, like, equally insulting other people on the internet. Yeah. So, that's the only thing, like, that, like, out of the whole situation, I'd be, my criticism of it is maybe get a little tougher and grow skin, especially if you're gonna make fun of people on the internet and make your content based on that. Expect other people to make fun of you. Um... Especially seeing how, like, he has, like, all, like, the easy tropes to make fun of someone. Like, he's obviously a bigger dude. He is, like, I don't know, people say he's, like, kind of, like, roadie. I don't know, like, uncapped. But I don't know, and I don't know him in real life, so I don't really have an opinion on that. But then, like, people make fun of how sensitive he is and all this stuff. Like, his, like, e-girl obsession or, like, following, so... You know, there, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things you can make fun of him about. So. A lot of ammunition he makes. Yeah, and, like, being, like, kind of aware of it, you know what I mean? And that, like, would be my only criticism for him. Is just expect people to make fun of the easy things for you. Well, yeah, that's just how you make fun of people. So. But. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Badwick stream. We will teach you how to properly bully someone. <laughs> the obvious <laughs> um but it's true like i feel like you should just be somewhat mindful of that especially if you're on the internet how can i make this work can i make this work i don't know mm. wait a minute that did absolutely nothing for me <laughs> Back. Whatever. I will come back. I can't carry any more. But yeah, so there's that, and then Boogie uh, two nine eight eight responded to me about creator cards, and like why like it's kind of been like an unspoken subject, even though Keemstar was like raving about it a few months ago. Well, I would say back in like April. No. Um. I think it was first announced in like November or something like that and then it was like hyped online for a little bit and then come like early March it was just like non-existent like no one heard anything about it and then I started to tweet about it because I was super pumped for creator cards and oh god that hurt and then yeah just uh if Boogie got, like reached out to me and he was just yeah there's no funding <laughs> It's expensive. Artwork is expensive. <laughs> and that was kind of like the whole reason. Keem just kind of canned it as a side project because of the amount of work that went into it. And, um, Wait, are you saying that creating a card game is harder than just making cards and doing spaces on it? Uh, no. That's what I would have done. I just don't think he had the balls to follow through. I would have absolutely stuck people's faces on cardboard and then write what I think they should be able to do and what they cannot do. And also be biased about it. <laughs> so it'd be just like the horribly unbalanced game. Yeah, like any of my D and D's. <laughs> that's like not. That's like somewhat <laughs> true, but also like not fair. <laughs> I play D and D to like, have fun. Yeah, I, that's yeah, like. I cannot argue that, but at the same time, <laughs> like sorted can because it's like, no, yes, but no. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was actually super bummed about because he had Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, who was like, well, oddly enough, he's banned from the Magic the Gathering community. Same with uh, Count Dankula, actually. I don't know why he's banned from it, but he like brought it up once. Oh, and I think the Quarter and is also banned from like the Magic the Gathering like official like oh, Friday Night Magics, okay. but I could care less about why. <laughs> um. But yeah, like, Boogie had a good idea of, like, how card games work. He, like, was a player of various card games. So, 
the fact that like Keemstar originally reached out to him about the whole thing, I was like, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, <laughs> might this work? And then, um, what's it called? Yeah, Boogie was the one who was honest about. It. He said that he hopes that um they like he can at least like release the promo deck and stuff and like let people read the cards and see how the game was gonna shape up, which I really hope he does. Because at that point, like, if it's, like, a really decent-looking game, people can go to, like, Kickstarters and stuff. They're, like, that was part of my criticism to, like, Keemstar. I'm like, there's so many board games and hobby games that already exist that have solely just been funded by, like, Kickstarters. I'm like, you, you're not telling me that if you created an internet game and um, marketed to other internet people that this game wouldn't get funded and, um, but yeah, I don't know. That was my criticism. I feel like he could have done a lot more. But like you said earlier, yeah, it, it's a lot of hassle to, to, like, make a hobby game. And, like, have it last, too. Like, there's nothing worse than, like, a game that only lasts pretty much, like, a season. Or not even, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I feel like he just gave up too easy on it. Especially because it doesn't seem like Boogie wanted to give up on it either. Like, he seemed, like, super psyched for it and everything. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like he had no idea what he was jumping into when he decided to create it. And there would be a lot of people actually like Boogie2988 that are, like, really into hobby games. So if he just made a shitty, like, gimmick hobby game, it would actually get, you know what I mean? Sort of, like, ripped apart. So, I don't know. Originally, I actually thought it was, like, because Boogie's court case that he had about shooting the fucking gun in public. <laughs> Which, again, I have, like, mixed feelings on that situation. But I'm also, one, not American. Two, don't own a gun. I can't get there. Um, and, like, three, like, have a crazy harasser. Like, also knock on wood, because you know, I don't really want that one. Actually, I don't really, like, want any of it, but... Yeah, um... So that was my original theory. I was like, oh, maybe, like, Boogie's, like, court case took, like, priority, obviously, over everything. But then, no, it just... GameStar had no money for it. I was like, that's fair. Like, it, it's expensive. Because I also had a theory that Maybe it was... God damn it, I just bought one of those. Oh, mine's better, though. Um, the rights for, like, IPs and stuff. Like, it would have been, like, a nightmare of rights and issues. Like, you know what I mean? Like, getting a hold of people like uh, Aaron from Game Grumps, Mr. Beast, like, Markiplier, PewDiePie, like, all those different people for this card game. Well, and to, like, you know, want to be in it, but Right, and like, like Keemstar, the likeness of everybody, and Keemstar absolutely wanted to have a monetary like thing into this. Like he wanted to like sell this as like a. Well, because why would you? Uh, if you were talking, you totally just like zooped out. Like that, though, yeah, not, like you're not gonna do that for free for no reason. No, and like I don't think he should have to because a lot of people would have bought it. Like I would have, and I know like. Pretty much anyone that makes like you like that makes YouTube videos would probably buy it because there is some weird like once you start making YouTube videos I wouldn't say like one video or two video but if you're like constantly trying to upload videos like weekly or bi-monthly or whatever like your your time frame people like get attached to like the community almost like they care about YouTube you know so I don't know I feel like it would definitely have like kicked off and personally if i was going to release the game i think like a neat way to have done it which again i have one never created a hobby game and two have no money to create a hobby game would have released like the packs and seasons as like the years of youtube so like or like pick a starting year because you remember when like like the early days, like Angry Nintendo Nerd and stuff like that. Jenna Marbles. And like release creators based on like the needs, like Filthy Frank and 
I can't get there from here. Even like grade A under A for a point, but he's more 2016. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you release like like old like you have PewDiePie gradually just get stronger like Magic the Gathering with Necrobolus, <laughs> like just have like season one PewDiePie, and then as it goes up, he's just like right now just multi million like two hundred million subscribers, like just pretty much unbeatable. He hit Planeswalker <laughs> like status. Same thing with, like, Markiplier and stuff, too. He's another one that they could have done that with. But I guess it would have been, like, a hybrid of Pokemon cards and Magic the Gathering. Which is, like, interesting, but also I could see, like, if they kept the effects of cards to, like, the Magic the Gathering style, like, you know what I mean? In, like, in-depthness, almost, and, like, complication... But they also what just, like, give creatures health <laughs> instead of just attack and power. I feel it could have been, like, an interesting concept. But I don't know. It, it's just, uh, just thoughts, you know. What ails you, my friend? Boom. Boom. Now on to level two. I got... Oh, I still can't buy that stupid book. Can't get Ooh, there waste. From here. I'm surprised Tim isn't up. You actually, you surprised the shit out of me when you showed up. I thought this was just gonna be like a drunk rambling stream with me by myself to then regret it the next day. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, when I saw you pop up, I was like, whoa! I was talking about him earlier on. I was like, I have no mods or anything for this stream <laughs> so if it crashes it crashes but yeah I had a like sangria tonight it was good Ooh, fancy. fancy fancy until you eat the fruits which actually we talked about the kiwi like thin at your house when um for that one birthday of yours we made jungle juice oh, yeah. and then we had to eat what was it someone had an allergy for kiwi so they're just like yeah. scoop it up <laughs> because we already like spent like between your like you and your girlfriend and then like other people involved like a ton of money on that so we're just like kaylee and i are scooping up kiwis and then we ate them that day and i remember laying down in my apartment floor just fucking tanked like just because of kiwis I ate a lot of strawberries tonight. Is kind of where I was going with that story. <laughs> oh, there you go. And they made me tipsy. That was that was the moral of the story. Fruit and wine is is good. Until it's too much, then your stomach gets weird. Also, I showed my son tonight the uh, 2D micro uh, Star Wars series, and he fucking loved it. Okay. Yeah, we've been getting into like lightsaber fights lately, and uh, a lot of my fingers are fucking hit every day. But it's good. It's a necessary cause. But his favorite character is definitely Luke Skywalker, and he also just thinks Yoda's ugly. Every time he sees Yoda, he's like, he's really ugly. I was like, <laughs> okay. But he love he loves like. Luke, which, like, I don't know, like, I, was trying, I don't know if he's getting Anakin and Luke mixed up, because I don't really know where he would have seen, like, Luke Skywalker, unless he was watching stuff on his own. Oh, I fucking hate Hiddens. I can't get there from here. But yeah, he just really loves Luke. And he also thinks Darth Vader's a zombie. Well, I mean, for a lot of people, he was someone who came back from the dead. So. Yeah, I get, I get that like argument. He just, uh, he's like really into the zombies. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna kill you once, and then you're a zombie. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I feel like in Star Wars lore, that like you said, that could be contested. Because, I mean, like, did he die? Did he not die? We can make this a big fucking conspiracy. That's it. The stream has now become a Star Wars iceberg theory. 
We will discuss the iceberg theory on Star Wars tonight. Discuss the iceberg lettuce. Sorry? Discuss the iceberg lettuce. The ice- oh. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> that was not the reference you are going for, was it? I wouldn't say so, no. No, I was- I felt so. By like, the awkward silence, I was just like... I feel like I just said a random fucking thing. <laughs> Well, that's good that you made a video that didn't upset the masses. I mean, yeah, I guess. I, guess. I mean, you'll always make a video that upsets someone, but, like, the masses. Not for, like, the reasons I want to. Oh! Um, <laughs> Not for the reasons I want <laughs> I have stat. Fuck, what? No! <laughs> I, um, uh, I have standards. Wow, that guy was a little turd. Um, I recorded my boss's backstory. Yay. Yeah, I just, I actually have like three videos I have to edit. But nice. if I edit it tonight, or try to tonight, it would just result with me dropping a cell phone on my head as I fall asleep. Or dropping yeah, cell phone on the floor and then waking up, stepping on it. I got too addicted to melee. Jesus, I miss my warrior roots. <laughs> she has such I a. You, I love that you've just like stuck to the character. Me? Yeah, absolutely. I may not like this individual, but we are going to go through hell together, so I might as well respect this individual. Nice. Look at the viewers. <laughs> all, all, all two of you. All two of you. <laughs> you and uh, another. You get, you, get, you get lurkers that I just have no idea who the fuck. I'm like, huh. Oh, because I'm on my phone, sometimes I have no idea people are listening. Yeah, it's like, it's like I a don't weird. Know, Star Wars ones you keep having like, out. Right? Online, so I'm like. And that's not huh. bad for like Twitch, like yeah, for like, standards that I get, like a five people. Star Wars ones do well. And I know like a lot of that goes to Tim too and like the tags he uses and shit. But I, yes, I, those are important. my, um, just my one biggest, like, upset about that whole thing is I wish I could, like, commit to a weekly basis of doing it. Because I fucking love it, but, and I would do it a lot. Yeah, but it's hard. It, it's hard with, like, you, it's also, like, taxing on you, like, the more you do something, I find them, like, the more you forcefully do something, the more it takes away from the experience. But then also, um, yeah, like you said, like, I could absolutely play this thing weekly. oh, and I could too. Like we did for like Wednesday, like, yeah. you know what I mean? For like five years straight. And it was like pretty much like, it was a lot of fun. I have a lot of we, good. We absolutely had the, um, you know, like they'd be that thing I'm thinking about. All the time. Like, oh I'm yeah. to pull off. Like I said, we had that all the time. Like, it was, like, you could make memes about it, pretty much. It was like, oh. It got to the point with the boss where I'm just like, oh, man, I hope no one, I hope I don't have a plot hook that yanks me away this time. <laughs> I just want to sit in my office and actually do some <laughs> stupid shit for an episode. Gra Graham's, like, fucking playthrough. That's, like, your wet dream. You have three days to do stuff. Yeah, okay. Do oh, my God, what? <laughs> this is... <laughs> Three uninterrupted days? <laughs> well, that's like, I made the joke, I'm like, well, some people would prefer to roll them literally individually, so I always have the option. <laughs> yeah. I knew you would. You'd be like, yes, I am not leaving the fate of my life in, like, a big roll. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that, there was, like, a battle we did. And, like, that's why I was like, you, like, because a lot of people took the percentage die with, like, modifiers. Yeah. But, like, you're like, nope, I'm gonna roll for every single section. Nope. I need, <laughs> unfortunately, I require the odds to be in my favor. Which, for my character, means individual. <laughs> that sort of stuff pays off, though, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, it's, yeah, it's rare. <laughs> for a boss, it's rare when it's, like, yeah, no, I'll just take the roll. I'm like, no, I actually have to do individual rolls for this because each part can be... He's got to be meticulous. <laughs> but, like, in, like, actual, like, real gaming, though, like, whenever, like, when it's, like, you can auto-level people or you can, like, auto this sequence, like, 
it normally Hello, it's almost like lazy you know what i mean because like and yeah. like you never get the same results when you do something in person versus like an auto yeah i, I mean, mean like I got, I got lucky in like dope rolled stat points for bombasa specifically because but like norm normally for anybody who knows the actual like how to play a scoundrel character specifically yeah you do you intellect's not your fucking main stat <laughs> wow like intellect is not your main stat <laughs> But that's how you roll with bosses. You roll a high intellect. It doesn't matter what class he is or anything. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, pretty much. Eh? What was your intellect 17 when you first started? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just got really, really, three really good rolls. So, like, he is still actually an effective scoundrel in the normal pretenses. But, um, no, he's just really smart. That's still his number one stat. Yeah, it plays off. Well, that was, um, I was talking to my friend tonight about it. I was like, Star Wars is like, every class has a, like, a lot of different paths you can take. But also, like, cross-classing is almost, a, like, a necessary thing, and I find in Star Wars. I was really going over, actually, this. And to really succeed in, like, Star Wars, this game, you have to actually cross-class to like become like a you know what I mean like a really like competing character it, it's it's very dependent on what your first class was um and like what you wind up doing as a character cause like if you know you could be a noble whatever but like okay but if you actually get into the shit you're gonna need a cross class right if you don't if you get other people to do shit for you perfect just we'll go pure noble what there you go my friend? but like no if you personally you're getting into it you're gonna get fucking killed man like you need it's to, true you're, Ex gonna, you're gonna need to take a level in soldier maybe fringer yeah well that like, was like i was discussing like fringer today like how like it went back because he wasn't familiar with like the skills I'm like, yeah, it's not like D and D. You can't just do everything. Like there's like things where like if you actually just don't know them, you can't do them. Yeah, like not many, luckily, but like yes, the ones that you can't use untrained, like computer use. You can use computer use. You can use computers. You can't hack if you don't have a point. Like there's some skills that you can use untrained, but in certain ways you can't. Mm hmm. Again, not many, but like that, like that, but whatever. Because that was Fringer's thing, is it, hey, it, you get to pick a class skill. Because mm -hmm. that's, like, not a thing. No other class lets you do that. Yeah, Fringer was, like, really good for cla or, uh, for skills. Soldier was feats. Because Soldier's yeah, soldier, actually, like... that feats are ridiculous. Yeah, because you have to pick from, like, a pre-selected thing. Yeah, but then at every fourth level you get a feat for free out of anything. And Which is like so time. good. Because there's a oh, lot yeah. of combat things that are um, really important, too. Like martial arts. Those, I'm grabbing. Sorry. No, martial arts is good. Because it goes yet. into like so many different. Um, like you know what I mean? There's so many like feats I need as a prerequisite. Yes, and I mean, I mean, seeing how Chris's games went, um, that my concern for being broken in certain ways is kind of alleviated a little bit. Why? Well, just because he got wrecked and he still had a decent. Age. Like, for a first little character, decent AC, so... Oh, yeah, in that game? That's, like, armor sucks. In <laughs> this, like, just anything that isn't powered or, does. or light armor. Yeah. Armor is garbage in this one, because they made a damage reduction, which damage reduction only applies to wound point. Mm hmm Which is, like, okay, cool, but, like, if you're in wounds, one gun can kill you. See, I, I so hate, like, like... I don't get it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I feel, I get, like, what they're trying to do. Like, it's almost like they want to do, like, vitality. Or, uh, vitality and fatigue at the same time. Because I find Star Wars should have just had its own fatigue stat, like, block, if that's what they were trying to do. Because so, like, so many times vitality is just described as your character being tired or, like, you know what I mean? Like, not actually injured. So I'm like... Yeah. But then, like... Again, Jedi's are dodging shots and draining their own health, fucking health. Right? I feel like they could have had like their own, like almost a third 
<laughs> like vitality, um, wound points, and uh, fatigue. Yeah. Because it just, I don't know. It, they might have used it as like a way to like level stuff out and balance things, but. Oh, I got tired all of a sudden. You ever got that where you're just like sitting there and you get hit with a, um. Oh, yeah. Wave of sleepiness. What time was that? I've almost been on for an hour. I might just finish up this level and then call it a night. Oh, sleepy boy. I am sleepy. I don't know why. Well, I have a, I had it like a migraine all day, and actually, this is probably like the best it's felt. Mostly because like it was, it's not like crazy loud, but all like I'm not just like thinking about the migraine, you know? Yeah. Take your mind off. It really helps. It absolutely does. Yeah, With migraines, probably. I find that oh, yeah. stomach aches. Like I could like agree with it a little bit, but I don't. I hate stomach aches. So mostly because of my unhealthy relationship with food, but I still am like one of those people who like I could be like terribly sick. I'm like, hey, who's going out for Big Macs? <laughs> like. <laughs> There's been yeah, I've done that. Yes. There's been so many times where it's just like, or like, I like I would have just vomited, go to my fridge and like eat just fucking like gross amounts of food or like just really bad food for someone who's sick, like fucking chips and shit, like just or ice cream. Ice cream's another one I mow down when it's here, but um, my son started to get like I don't know. I hate like candy flavored ice cream, like cotton candy and like. Bubble gum, I hate those flavors. Yeah, I can't eat them. It's, it's, it doesn't matter if I want to. Hmm. Yeah, like I don't know. They're so like there's such a strong flavor that I think that's why like I don't like them. The older I'm getting, the more of like a strawberry flavor guy I am. Like strawberry sundays and stuff. I don't know. I used to always get like these crazy like blizzards or you know like McFlurries or whatever. And now I'm just like simple strawberry. Ah, oh, you're a dad. You gotta get the peanut butter parfait. Oh, those are good. Those are fucking good. <laughs> there you they go. are. That's the, I... that's, the, that's the quintessential. <laughs> Dairy Queen food. I know. I've had those like a bunch. Like actually, like for a while they were my go-to because they're so fucking good. But last time I got like orange uh, Julius, and it was like not fucking orange. I don't know what I got. I never had one before. I was like, I'm gonna try one of these. They always look they're, they're so. They're not good. heavily orangey. Flavor. No, they're not. You got more Julius than Orange. <laughs> I feel like that's like a sitcom. <laughs> more Julius than Orange. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sleepy. <laughs> It'd be like a Will and Frazier thing. <laughs> or, um, was it Will and Grace? <laughs> what a crossover. <laughs> Will and Grace. Oh shit, I'm being attacked. I do. <laughs> I want a fan fiction that's for a, that. That's, <laughs> oh, that's good. Will and Frasier. <laughs> well, I'll like swear. a. Like, geez, just Will, Will and Frasier. So, who moved where? <laughs> it would be Frasier. Yeah, was Fraser moved, and then he happened to have to get a roommate with that it was Will. Mm -hmm. Will was like gay, right? That was like the I can't remember. I mean, that's an old show, but like, what was like the whole yes. thing? Like, Will was gay, but were they married? Will, or yeah, Will was gay. Cause it was Will and Grace. Grace was just Grace, and then there was the then there was Will, who was like the guy who was also gay, and then there was like. The, the absurd crazy lady and then mm -hmm. the very stereotypical style gay man. <laughs> yeah. And then Frasier is fucking Frasier. I knew Frasier like from Cheers. Yeah, that was a show he was on first. Yeah. Because like even his wife and stuff are like on Cheers. Yeah, there's like a whole universe for that, I think. Like that whole sitcom. Like thin. Ah, <sighs> oh, lame. Did 
Did you ever watch like a lot of those sitcoms? Because what was his name was on it too. Um, really, uh, Harold? No, yeah, Woody Harrelson. He was um on Cheers. On Cheers. Oh, okay. See, like Cheers was like before that would have kind of like, helped much as a person. Mm -hmm. And then Fraser was like, you know, prime young kid to all of them. So it's like, uh, do you remember the Red Green Show? <laughs> Absolutely remember the Red Green Show. He should do a crossover with the Big Bang Theory. I mean, they already technically did crossover with uh, that show that the guy who played Arrow was on. Who? I can't get there. From okay, here. so you know his nephew, Harold. Yeah. So like. Oh, was, my name is Errol. Yeah, yeah. He's no, like. Oh yeah, like well he so no 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 that's my name is Errol that's a different show. Oh. But like his <laughs> show is his nephew Harold. Like that actor was in other things, and then I forget what sketch comedy thing did a thing, but it, they had. So it was like a super serious show though. Like he was like a business guy or yeah. something. Yeah. Like, didn't have the glasses or any of the nerdy shit. But they literally had him doing stuff, and then just, like, Red shows up, and then he just is like, oh, hey, Harold, what's going on? And he's like, what, what are you doing here, Uncle Red? <laughs> like, immediately <laughs> goes into, like, the other character. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, because that was the dude that played, like, the guitar, right? Well, it was, that was basically... That like was Harold? <laughs> Fuck it, that show was good. I saw him live. He's yes, pretty. He did. I remember when yeah, and he was pretty good live, too. Cause my dad knows him from like a different show too, like Black Adder or something like that. Or he was on Black Adder. No, that's the Rowan Atkins one, right? Yes. That's okay. The yeah. One. The like fucking funniest shit one. I was a good. I I enjoyed Mr. Bean, but. I heard like Black Adder is actually pretty fucking funny. Black Black Adder, it's very, it's in, it's very in the same vein Hello, as Mr. Friend. Bean, but he talks. Stay a while. Like, oh, okay. And he's, like, and he's like very, like sure of himself, despite you know essentially Mr. Bean, but talks. It's also medieval so times, sure isn't himself, it? But not what correct, is isn't it? Which it was? Is it like medieval times too? Uh, it's like a bunch of different times. And yeah. It's like him playing descendants of the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> so like it, I think it starts medieval times eventually it becomes like World War one or two I think yeah I definitely I've seen like clips of that show I can't get there <sighs> I sense a soul I have been in search just of farming answers. achievements this, uh, this month where are you for your achievements now like 55 thousand wow that is crazy how long does that yeah, like, take you well I'm, so there's a lot of I games that are kind, kind of baby games take an hour or so for themselves mm -hmm. and then i also played like what is it dodgeball academia <laughs> which is like an actual game that took a bit um well, what can what I do else for I you? there's a few games So where are you at? Like, there's a lot of just like games that are worth like 5k gamer score that you just you can pound out in like a half hour. That's sick. And you just play like all those? <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of them. Well, that and then like there's some that double up on PC. Oh, like, so, like there's one two game games. Could be worth 5k, and then you can play it again on PC for another 5k. Oh, that's broken. Yeah. Like I broke one game that I'm playing right now because they're all. Well, I would say they're all like baby games and shitty, but like there's like these odd gems and all of them. Yeah. Like they're actually not bad games, like in their own right. There are some that are just shit, um, <laughs> and you don't do anything and they're stupid. Um, but then like every so often there's like really good ones that like, like what like what is it? Castle of No Escape. That one's actually pretty solid. Like. What is it? A platformer. No, it's like, it's this really old school style, like, grid exploration game. Okay. Like, and like, you know, random chance, like, you basically roll the dice to see if you hit or not and stuff. Like, it doesn't show you dice, but it's literally just like, you hit. Yeah, percentage dials and shit and, like that, yeah. And like, 
You just explore this place, gather artifacts, get all the artifacts, and then kill the final boss, and that's it. But, like, you could totally just, like, unless you have torches and stuff, you don't see the squares around you unless you've already explored them. Oh, God, it's fogged. <laughs> yeah, so, like, you could just walk into the final boss and it'll just kill you in the hit. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, yeah, and again, it's, like, not a in depth game, but it's, it's this fun little game you can play in your, like, 5,000 games. That's not bad at all. Yeah, and like they're not ridiculous achievements. Most of these games you don't even have to beat to get all the achievements because they're just going to keep patching in more achievements. Really? Yes, because it's just, it's so this has always been the system for um, achievements on Xbox at least, where you can do title updates which add more achievements. Those title updates don't actually have to add to the game, but you know if you do add to the game, sweet, you can add up to a thousand more gamer score per title update. So like all these DLCs every company's doing and then they add like, you know, a, a hundred gamer score or some shit, like they could be adding a thousand. Like every time they do one. Wow. But they don't for some reason. So like this one company, well, a couple companies now are doing these games where it's like, you know, Flasco Man or the Dr. Atomius. And like, they just make the base game have a thousand gamer score for like doing up to a certain point in the game. And then they'll do a title update and go like, yeah, just keep going. <laughs> Until event, I'm assuming eventually it gets to the end or not. And like these games are like five bucks, six bucks. Okay. But like, but like yeah, like it's, it's something that like, I don't know why bigger companies haven't done that when they have DLC, where it's like, why isn't it? You made a game, it's worth a thousand, and then like two DLC packs are worth another thousand instead of like nothing. Hmm. Hello. I know what you're talking. Like I don't like Stay hunt gamer score, but I know what you mean now. Because yeah, isn't it's, Fallout it's bad for that? Thing. Like kind of. I remember like every like DLC, some DLCs will have like a shit ton of like achievements, and then like other ones will just nothing. Yeah, like. I don't know. It's weird, though. Do you find, like, achievement hunting hard, though? What well, it depends you, on what games you play, right? Like, and that's half of it, though. It's like, uh, eventually I'm gonna... Like, what is it? I've done... I'm doing the Ezio collection. And, like, I've finished Assassin's Creed 2. So now I'm doing Brotherhood. And, like, they're not, a, not a really hard achievements, but they take time. Yeah. I've done, like, most of the Saints Row games now. Like, GTA, I've done Vice City. Vice City and San Andreas, but I never... I haven't done three yet, because three's a pain in the ass. Oh, like the original three? Yeah. You don't like it? it it's not that I don't like it, it's like designed it based around the two games still. Mm -hmm. So because of that, gameplay mechanics that at the time made sense, don't anymore so like you progress the game far enough and every mobster hates you so they'll attack you but they also get automatic shotguns and automatic shotguns blow up a car in two shots so if two of guys in a group of four mobsters spawn with shotguns they're both gonna shoot your car and you just blow up while you're driving down the street so then that island becomes like impossible to do anything on. So if you didn't do physically everything in the first island before you piss off the mobsters, you can't do it. Or it becomes like highly unlikely you're going to be able to do it. Yeah, it makes sense. Are you watching the stream right now? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, so you saw, that's what I was talking about last stream. That, like you open up the portal there, it's portal to the butcher's chamber. Yeah, because we, yeah, you made us do that in the, uh, in the little D&D &D that you did. Fuck, I don't think I'm going to be strong enough for it, though. Just like that the... That would have been a much cooler thing to do. What? Well, like, in the actual, like, in Diablo 1 normally. Oh, I know. It makes, it gives it, like, makes it feel like, actually, like, the butcher's a, like, big deal. Fucking try and make him one later. Oh yeah, jeez, they milked it. I 
him. Can fucking Skeleton King has come back like how many times? I feel like the fucking butcher is gonna wreck me. Die, skeletals! I almost want to use, um, melee in this fight, but then he's fucking apparently terrible in melee. Man, that's a game I'd love to continue with Diablo on. Oh, the D and D one. That oh, was so fun. It was. I fucking. It was a lot of fun. It felt epic. It like allowed people to level and like experience like the characters. But the fucking combo that you were able to pull the ice one. Oh my god. It was like instant kill. Anything. Well, when you yeah, when you make your your fucking hand crossbows do three and six ice damage. One boss, one named guy that has ice resistance, and I'm done. And you were what? <laughs> well, then I'd be done, because it's like, oh, I'm not going to take the crown off, and I only do 1d6. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm normal again. <laughs> I went from ridiculous back to normal so quickly. <laughs> well, even then, ridiculous to kind of less ridiculous. <laughs> the, way I was, the way I was building that character, it was just definitely Looks suited like for that game. Looks like it's rusted shut. It's rusted shut. Ain't that little particular. I don't want to kill things. I want to kill the butcher. You have to kill everybody so the doors can increase the blood. Ah, of course. The grief. The blood of their... I don't know. I don't fucking know where it's going with that. I just, like, died. <laughs> I was trying to think of like something dramatic to say. The like the grease of their blood like opens the door. I don't know. I'm too like fucking almost hung over by this point to yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm doing my best. You actually just like witnessed a whole manic breakdown of me. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. All right. No, yeah, wait. I paid that wizard man to make a sanctum for me. Oops. Oh, yeah, you did, eh? Yeah. Would have been like the arcane, um, you know, from Diablo. Arcane Sanctuary. Yeah, but he, I had him build it in Pandemonium. <laughs> That's right. I forgot it was like a D and D game, but also or a Diablo game, but I also like threw in D and D elements into it. Yeah, man. Because you were like, yeah, you can build it in these planes, and I was like, well, I'm gonna build it in the plane between, because that just makes sense. Because <laughs> you were like, yeah, it's it's completely sealed off from it unless you like put a door somewhere. <laughs> there. Ugh, I don't want to do this. Whoa. Spooky. Oh fuck, there he is! Oh fuck, boy! Ah! Run! Ah! No! <laughs> well... I died. <laughs> Ah, oh, lame. You should have used your cube and teleported. Cube? What fucking cube? Well, that's what we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what fucking cube? 
I was like, there's no Herodrum Cube in this fucking game. What is he talking about? Oh, those are awesome. But also, I never realized people hated it, too. So, like, you know how, like, um, especially Blizzard fucking fans, they have, like, their fandom, and there's always, like, subcultures within that fandom? Oh, yeah. It's like how, like, you might have, like, a bunch of people that, like, World of Warcraft, but they, like, some of them will be, like, this expansion, this expansion, some of them will be fine, like, these four expansions canon, and then you have some just, like, diehard vanilla game fans. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. They're, they're like, the worst. Diablo has those, like, so bad. It is, like, you have all these, like, hardcore Diablo 1 fans still that are, like, none of the games were like this. And then Diablo 2 fans were like, it's Diablo 1, but, like, better. <laughs> uh, I spent too much time on, like, Reddit sub, like, subreddits for these games. And they're like, that's all they are. It's, like, less about the actual game and more about, like, arguing about the fandom. That's most thing nowadays, unfortunately. Right? I know that is also kind of, like, a rant, but fucking Star Wars being my favorite thing... It is so, like, every time something is released in Star Wars, it is, like, contested or hated. And then they That's just they accept it. it. Like, everyone's super pissed about the Grand Inquisitor actor because he refused oh, yeah. to watch Rebels. But then he made a statement saying that, why would I watch of like something that happens eight years in my character's life he's like realistically how I portray him now lead up to why he's in that situation eight years from now I'm like it's a good opinion like it's not like a bad opinion of it he doesn't want to like foresee his character's fate eh yeah <sighs> Yeah, Star Wars is the fucking worst for that. Hating Christensen made a comment about it where he is just like, they hated me. <laughs> and now they love me. He's like, I don't get this fan base. Now they extra love him because of Obi Wan. Yeah, it makes you, makes you wonder how the kid that played Anakin would be doing now. Well, he's in jail still, isn't he? Well, yeah, you know. That guy's like full fucking thug. <laughs> He's actually kind of like fucking scary looking too. Oh, I gotta look this up now. It's gonna bother me. Oh God, all my un or um, <laughs> look at the hated Christian said that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so you. Oh God. <laughs> oh. He's like, I don't know if like a fucking Calvin Klein model became like tech support. That's what, like, I get from that vibe. Ah. Oh. Anyways, let's see if we can find this kid. Did you get the new Lego Star Wars? Uh, yeah, I haven't really played it. I've, like, spoiled enough of it online, though. Well, spoiled if you watched the movies. You already did. Oh, spoiled these games, but watch the movies. Yeah, look at that guy. That guy's like full fucking thug. He went from like that to fucking that. <laughs> There's a man who kicked the shit out of you. There's and... a man who killed the younglings right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh my god. I feel like that's his like second form. Like form one, form two, and then <laughs> form three. Was that fucking thug one? Oh. 
You know what? I wish I made what Moist Critical makes because that's all he does is react to internet shit. And he's like multi millionaire. We'll get good at it. Have a cadence that makes it enjoyable. I, uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't want that much of a fandom like that. I feel like you're, like, held responsible. And every so often I let the wrong word slip. Absolutely. <laughs> Why can't I escape these Anakin Skywalker pictures? <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Windows 10 has fucking on. achievements? Well, they're just Xbox achievements, but there's just that, those are the double stacks you can do. Wow. I never knew that. It's, it's like, fairly specific. It's kind of like how, um, what is it? Um, Goat Simulator had Goat Simulator and all the expansions as, like, its own game, but then they released, like, the MMO one and the Space one as its own separate thing mm -hmm. somehow. And then that was that had his own achievements, and then I think they released the X version, like the XS version, which also has all the achievements again. So I think I have that game like three times. <laughs> it's not an expensive game either, is it? it I mean, it's not the Goat Simulator specifically. I don't think it's cheap. It's not expensive, but not cheap. Like what? Like fifteen dollars? Like Twenty dollars? Like Probably now, yeah. Yeah. Do you like Goat Simulator? I mean, it's actually a lot of fun until you run out of achievement. Yeah. Well, because it's, it, it's very much a make-your-own-fun type of game. So yeah. So if you have an actual goal in mind, um, you know, it's not, not too bad. Have you played the uh, Duck one? You know, oh, like, our yeah, Untitled Goose Untitled game? Untitled Goose game. I have played it. I don't, I don't remember if I know the achievements. Now you have something to check out. <laughs> I am toast is fucking, fun. or I am bread is fucking great too. <laughs> I am bread, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Star Wars. Yeah. Oh yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> Those games are fucking wild. Those like random fucking games, like fucking I am bread and like Untitled Goose game, fucking. Ah. Uh. Have you ever played that one on Steam? Where you're a border guard, uh, cross walk or border guard patrol guy? Oh, um, Papers, Please. Yeah. I have not played it. I actually haven't played Papers, Please. That game that is, is a so game I need to play. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, dude. I think I'm going to log off for the night and go upstairs and lay on a couch and watch yeah, Clone Wars. Try to do the same. At least crash the mail. Well, that's good. Well, thanks for hanging out tonight. Yeah, I promise I'll post on Twitter. And I was like, hey. God, I forget you just lurk. <laughs> like, it's actually. Like I happened to see the alert pop up. Well, thank you for paying attention. The stream is done, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Go home now. <laughs> Leave the stream. Get! Get out! Get! <laughs> it's just you, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. <laughs> wow. Get! Get out! Get! The stream's over! Go! Leave! <laughs> Go home! <laughs> I'm gonna check my followers, they're gonna be fucking down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> There'd be like some fucking troll people due to like some fucking youtuber they'd be like you know how like reddit organizes things and organize like a mass fucking following and fuck with someone that should be funny <sighs> get 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, you know what show they canceled? S Space Force. And I oddly enjoyed that show. That's what happened to me the first time I tried to watch through. I got like halfway and then I just like something happened and then the second time I went to watch I'm like okay I have to finish this so I basically just binged it. And like it's not terrible it's not like the best show it's like a solid like six or seven in my opinion. You just have to like Steve Carell pretty much and if you like Steve Carell you'll like the show. He's, like, very, like, Michael Scott in it. But, like, not, but, like, the sort of. It's weird. There's a lot of, like, stu It's more of, like, a quirky office. Like, if the office had, like, comedic gags in it, pretty much, that's what it would be. Or, like, almost, like, Community. How, like, you know, Community had, like, its gags. Like, it had the main story, but then it had, like, weird, like unrealistic gags at points I feel like that's more how like I find space forces it's like wacky but also dry because it's Steve Carell <laughs> it's like a wacky dry show <laughs> no but it, it's just because you know fucking it's like Steve Car I don't know it's hard to explain but yeah exactly Alright, for real. Get, get out, get. <laughs> Stream's done, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I know, actually. <laughs> Alright, I'm, uh, I'm gonna stop recording now. So, peace everybody. Thanks for stopping by.